Because I'm Chappers. Oh, sorry. And I'm the captain. And we are at Andertons. Yes. Embarking upon the very dangerous quest <laughs> of demonstrating the Ingve Malmsteen Marshall head. YJM 100. Indeedy. We are very lucky because this is uh, a pre-production model. Uh, it's exactly the same as the regular ones are going to be. Um, and Marshall have loaned it to us for a day. And we've shoot. even got instructions from Santiago on how Malmsteen likes this head set up. Yes. Which is very loud. Yes. And so we're all wearing earplugs. Earplugs. <laughs> this is the first demo I've ever had to wear earplugs for. <laughs> The basics of the YGM 100 is it's a modded 1959 uh, plexi head um, and the reason we've uh, flipped it round to start uh, showing you what's on the back is, the f is this is where all the kind of the mods are. So the front of it just looks like a regular head. Hmm. You've got your, your two inputs, your high treble input and your normal input. Uh, it's actually, if you guys uh, remember on the old ones, you have four inputs, so you can uh, jump them together if you want to and get a blend of the two channels. Um, essentially after that, then it's just your EQ uh, controls on the front, so volume and tone controls. So here are the mods, uh, and these are all custom designed for Ingve um, by Marshall's kind of top modder, uh, Santiago, who does all the sort of did all the mods for Satch and Slash and all the, the famous people who have modded Marshall amps. What have we got? Do you want to? Well, we got a massive booster. Which gives you a serious amount of gain. It's like yeah. having an overdrive pedal. Loads of gain. Yeah. Uh, it's natural. Ex it's exactly designed to be that, by the way. It's yeah. exactly designed to be an actual stomp pedal circuit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, in the amp. So this is this is Ingve's signature kind of drive tone in a pedal, but built into the amp. Hmm. Um, and it's also on the foot switch as well. <laughs> Gate. Why do we need the gate? We need the gate because there's incredible amounts of gain and volume <laughs> <laughs> unleashed from this amplifier and you just need the gate to protect you from it basically. Yeah, absolutely. Again, quite clever switching here. If I uh, grab the foot switch, nice foot <coughs> switch here that you can see, uh, you have the, by default, if I turn the boost on and off, you'll notice that the gate uh, comes on and off with it. However, if you want to, you can independently, 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 um, change the, uh, turn the gate on. Uh, then we've got a built-in digital reverb, um, which again, I can control from the foot switch. And I should say that all three of these effects have been wired into this in true bypass. So exactly like a high quality uh, pedal would be, if I turn the boost off, it has completely true bypassed the boost and gate mm. circuit. Then we've got an effects loop over here. Unlike the slash model earlier on, there's no return uh, volume, so you can't use the effects loop as like an, a, an extra boost. But you've got a boost built in anyway, yep. there's no need. And we've got a slightly <coughs> um, uh, more sophisticated attenuator on here. Uh, as we, it's essentially it's the same attenuator that's on the slash, uh, except that it has a, a, a button that will take it from 50 watt to 100 mode. They plus one did, didn't they? They plus one did. So you can use this as a 50 watt head with an attenuator or a 100 watt head with an attenuator. If you've ever tried a 59 plexi, you'll just know that it's the loudest Marshall they ever made. Uh, there's only one way to kind of drive it, that's to drive the shit out of it. Uh, this is not a home use practice amplifier. This is why we have earplugs for this demo. 
I have um, pro molds. He has like bits of candy or something. I have, yeah. Paul Pablo, the guitar technician, just I think he just chewed some bubble gum, spat it out, and said, "Stick this in your ears." So <laughs> I'm going to try that. <laughs> um, because we're using an Ingve uh, head, we decided that we'd use an Ingve Strat, uh, and this is your classic Ingve Strat with the scallops. There's proper serious scalloping there. In true Ingve style. Um, if you want to buy the exact cabinet that you see Ingve using this uh, head with and you see it in the advert, you actually have to custom order that. Um, it's basically, it's, the cabinet is called a 1960 AX and it's the checkered front mm. kind of uh, appropriate, sort of time appropriate looking cabinet to go with the plexi head. Um, but it's loaded with the standard 75 watt Celestian G12s. So what we've done is we've taken a, a, a regular 1960A cabinet, which is the four, has the four Celestian G1275 speakers in it. Uh, so this tonally will sound exactly the same as, as the cab that Ingve uses. But if you want to complete the look by having the checkered front, if you go onto the Anderson's website and find the Ingve uh, head, we've put a link to the, to the cab and we've uh, especially created a custom code so that... Go, um, mm. Karen, sorry. Okay, you're thirsty? Yeah. Go on, do it, do it. Do it! Do more! <laughs> do more! <laughs> what are you, a man or a mouse? <laughs> do more! That's what all pro guitarists have to do. <laughs> you need one of those if you're gonna play. <laughs> a mom, a Malmsteen strap and a Malmsteen head. What did you just say? I don't know. You can't even speak properly. I now, can't can you? speak properly. You come back when he's done the bottle. That's the, that is the challenge. <laughs> How much will you pay me to do the bottle? <laughs> uh, Santiago very kindly emailed me um, the, the Malmsteen setting. Which so, basically said, as loud as you can manage yeah. to have it, put it that loud. It was. It was kind of everything on 10. So we're using the high treble input, which is the number one input, on 10. Uh, we've got the uh, treble is uh, slightly backed off, so it's number four. Um, middle and bass are turned up to sort of six or seven. Presence is backed off again. It's a very trebly head, the 59, so often... Well, the thing is that Marston has that sort of trebly sound to cut through the thousands yeah. of fans that follow him everywhere on yeah. his Viking crusade. Uh, the gate we've turned to as low as we can possibly take it so that it gets rid of most of the hum but doesn't... Um, start to sort of interrupt the sort of natural uh, sustain of the guitar. <clears throat> and he says he prefers the 50 watt mode to the 100 watt mode, but as loud as you can go. Uh, now we're gonna go up to about <laughs> half on this. Uh, and beyond your, that, your plugs. yeah, it's painful, but apparently Ingve likes it louder. <laughs> Okay, what I've done now is uh, we've jumped channel one to channel two. So this is bringing in a blend of the high treble channel and the normal channel. So you'll notice it's a little bit fatter now. And the reason Chappers isn't here is that to get the best tone out of this amplifier, we've really turned it up uh, kind of louder still. And if Chappers was to sit here, there's just too much feedback and interference on the guitar. So Chappers has uh, driven to Woking, which is about seven miles from, no, he's, not, he's literally standing over here. So I'm just gonna put my earplugs in and uh, you should do the same. That's 
just that's no boost. Uh, it's just the straight channel one on this, um, and a much more subtle. You can really hear those kind of vintage tones coming through now. Black to screen. <laughs> Let's it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to whack a Les Paul through it now because a lot of guys on YouTube asked us specifically yeah. not just to play Malmsteen and just use a Strat, etc. So we're going to put a, a nice Marshall, Les Marshall also, when I saw Marshall in America, were very, very keen. The whole reason why the YJM head is is so subtly Ingve branded. If you look at the slash head, it's you know it's got a name on it and these graphics and everything. And apart from literally the fact that it says YJM here, from the front, it just looks like a regular uh, Marshall vintage head. And the reason they've done that is because they don't want to put anybody off uh, of what is basically a beautifully built, you know, incredibly versatile Marshall amplifier. So this isn't just for Ingve fans. This is for any fan of a, of a sort of a hot rodded, you know, plexi head. Oh, Jack Daniels. Uh, <laughs> you try to kill me. <laughs> unlike other artist signature product where yeah. the whole point of it is just to be like the artist. This is a super modded is, yeah. vintage Marshall head. If you're not a fan of Ingvo, it's still a fantastic amplifier. Yeah, still well worth a, a, a try. Which I think deserves a pick throw. Or even an earplug throw. And maybe some more whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that. This is a great guitar by the way. I don't know if we'll still have it in stock by the time the video goes up, but if we do, one of you guys should buy this. It's unbelievable. By the way, we're drinking this because it's my manager's Dan's birthday. Dan's holding the camera. Say hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Dan, how old are you? 22. Happy birthday, Dan. Thanks, man. What's 22 for bingo? I uh, I'm obsessed with bingo. Two little ducks. Two little ducks. Yeah. <laughs> I love how... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're gonna die. <laughs> by the way, we're not driving home. Just in case anyone's worried that we're driving home. We <laughs> also drank all the Slash whiskey in the Ingve shoot. Oh yeah, that's true. We did. Sorry, Slash. Oh, yeah. Well, next time we see Slash, I've never met him, but I'd love to, um, we'll have a bottle of whiskey with Slash then. He's coming around my house later. So You're a liar. Yeah, no, I'm a liar. That Slush is coming around my house. Slush. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>